Hi. In the previous video, we looked at the graphics at Maple, and in this video, we are, we are going to be looking at more in details at inequal command. Inequal command will allow us to plot the feasible region for the functions that only have two variables. And I'm going to show you how you can use this command to plot the feasible region. And here we have an example. As you see there, inequality x plus y greater than 0 is represented by the blue line. And x minus 1 less than or equal 1 is represented by the green line. And y equal 2 is also represented by the green line in this case. Let us change some of these information and uh, try to change the plot design. First of all, we will make it uh, similar to the regular uh, constraints in the form of greater than or equal and less than or equal signs. The first one, we are also changing it to a 3x plus y greater than or equal 2. Next one, we will change it to x minus 2y less than or equal 5. And finally, we will change the ranges such that the function is, the feasible region is displayed correctly on the display for us. Also notice that some of the characteristics that we are seeing in this, such as options feasible with a specific color. In that case, it was red, and I changed it to a brown. Um, and options closed, which was uh, which I changed it to red. And I also changed the thickness of it to 6 and 1, such that you can see how the display is impacted, the plot is impacted. Uh, I'm going to change the options excluded, which is the outside of the feasible region, from yellow to white to save ink in case you wanted to uh, print it. And as, as you play with these different colors and and so on, you, you get a sense of uh, representation of this um, of this shape and of this design. Let's now look at a little bit let's let's look a little bit further and again change some of the coefficients of these inequalities and and see how they are impacted um, I'm going to um, change one of them and intentionally, I'm going to leave a mistake in there, uh, such that we can see how uh, Maple is going to show us the mistake. Not only it tells you that there is an error, but it also shows you where the error is. And in this case, it was the asterisk that was left out. Um, Again, you 
notice that the two lines that I made are parallel to each other and that's one of the uh, important characteristics that we are going to be interested in. I'm going to change uh, one of the lines such that they are not parallel anymore and again move it a little bit by changing the right hand side of one of those equations. Notice that as it passes through the objective function and it's pointing in the other direction you will lose the objective function as you bring it back you will see a smaller objective function in this case we can save this image we can save this image and actually plot it uh, and, or put it in uh, in in Word or another word processor uh, and not only that we can actually save it into a uh, graphic editor here is a small graphic editor and I have copied the image into this graphic editor you can do editing in this case I'm cropping the image to make it smaller and and that's what you can do with these graphics.